Nigerian Army caution soldiers over alleged killings of Jesus operatives by IPDB members directs them to wear mufti in public. The Nigerian Army is saying, do not wear your uniform outside your barracks. We don't want you to be attacked by IPOB. Anything that happens to you is your business. Even if you're wearing mufti, we know you. Once you're a soldier, we'll find you. We'll know where you are. If you're in a public transport, you're gone. Wherever we find it, take, copy what I'm saying. Send it to Trump. Send it to Pompeo. Send it to Elizabeth. Send it to David Cameron. Is what I'm saying. If we we'll find you anywhere, you are a goner. You are gone. For killing unarmed people. Every, uh, almost every six months, you must kill people who are unarmed. Innocent people. And now you want to wear mufti and come outside? That's what it was reported by Sahara reporters. In an internal signal dispatched to different formations unit commanders, the Nigerian army asked all troops to be on their alert and to avoid individual movement in uniforms outside the barracks. If we live, what does that tell you? Okoko, what does that tell you? They know. They know. Do you know we don't fight like cowards? We tell you what we are going to do before we do it. So you know, that's who we are. And we are telling them, even if you wear mufti and you have started something you cannot finish. The police commissioner in Enugu State, the DSS director in Enugu State, the army, the two division, you have started something you can never ever finish. How many are you people? Do you outnumber us? Even if you recruit every full and agent with into the army, do you outnumber the Afghan people? You know you don't. No, you don't. You don't. They are, they are warning them. They are warning them not to come to wear mufti. But if we see them, we will know them. It doesn't matter if you are Igbo, you are a joy, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are uh, Ibibio or Efik. Once you are with them, you are an enemy of the people. And you suffer for it. So if you like, wear mufti. If you like, we are, we disguise yourselves as women and come out and do, you can wear weed. You, that is the winning thing now in Abuja. Mask. Aisha's boyfriend. They, they have uh, four types of masks they can give him to wear. To deceive all of you gullible fools. You cannot deceive us. You cannot deceive us. You cannot deceive us. Publish this news, please, from Sarah Reporters. You are cautioning your soldiers because of us. You have said something you cannot finish. Every time we'll be on our own, you'll be coming to kill us. Every time you see people, you kill. And again, what is wrong with you? Because you want to take over our land? You want to take over the land of Biafra? Is that what you think? Nandekan is alive and you think you will take over Biafra land? In your dreams, all of you. You are all dreaming. Both you, all of you, your fellow Ephulephus, the traitors who are within, you are all dreaming. And all of the fake accounts, all of the idiots you have contracted in, 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 um, in Russia to be churning out fake accounts, writing rubbish, you have all failed. All of you have failed. You are wasting your money. You are wasting it. Well, you have tried before to stop us with this, you see? You have tried. That was why you brought BBC Evo, to see if BBC Evo can, can confuse some idiots from questionable limit. Have you succeeded? Have you succeeded? No, you cannot succeed. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. Anybody who thinks that we are going to relent, you are dreaming. The more you kill us, the more formidable we become. The more, the angrier we become. And the more, the level of consequence you have to bear when the time comes. When the time comes, people who are reasonable see how they speak. See how they talk. Insecurity. Buhari, of course, is the Fulani government. Buhari, everybody knows that Buhari is dead.